Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about Britain's royal family. This is an article. King Charles warned he has made a terrible mistake with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The king should have cut them off straight away, according to royal biographer Tom Barr. King Charles should have taken swift and decisive action after Prince Harry and Meghan Markle decided to step down from royal duties in 2020, a royal biographer has claimed. According to Tom Bauer, author of Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the War Between Windsors, the shameful events that followed Mexix have caused a cloud over monarchy. Harry and Meghan have undermined the monarchy and Charles has made a terrible mistake, Mr. Bauer told Daily Express US. The royal biographer continued, he should have cut them off straight away. He should have never have allowed their children to be made prince and princess. And he shouldn't have invited Harry to the coronation. He should have just cut them off. Charles' fatal mistake was to endlessly prevaricate over what to do with Harry and Meghan while they carried out their tall all campaign stateside, Mr. Ball claims. Since stepping away from the firm, Harry and Meghan have relocated to California to pursue various media adventures. This has largely consisted of the couple making incendiary claims about the monarchy, putting the centuries-old institution into disrepute. Mr. Bauer says the first grenade was thrown back in 2021 when Meghan in insinuated in an interview with Oprah Winfrey was that a member of the family had subjected her to racism, a claim that would soon engulf the institution in a race row. Harry later attempted to walk back to the allegation in an interview, but it appeared the damage was done by this point. A Yugo poll conducted shortly after the interview aired found 48% of the Britons said they have a negative view of the Harry, compared with 45% with a positive view, giving him a 3 net score. It marked the first time attitudes had been more negative than positive towards him and was a 15 point drop from March 2nd of the same year. Meghan's popularity also took a hit after the interview, with only 31% of Britons holding a positive opinion of the Duchess of Sussex, while 58% of the surveys 1,664 British respondents viewed her negatively. Public sentiment appeared to go from bad to worse from the Sussex following the release of their Netflix series last December, where the couples made further claims of racism, with the British press also coming in the crosshair. Alright, this was a story about uh, the royal family of Britain. They do, did have some problems with the Prince Harry and with the Meghan Markle. So let's let's wait and see what happened next. I will keep you posted. Thank you.